everyone this is fnh here with a brand new video to talk about how to use itunes on your mac device either macbook air macbook pro etc so in the latest mac updates uh, i believe in the catalina of mac the and i believe i think that is the latest one in this one for some odd reason they got rid of itunes so if you search for itunes you won't find it on the mac itself which it used to come pre-installed and if you try to download it it won't work it'll actually say oh if you're this version and below, I believe 10.2, you can download it. If not, you have to, it just doesn't say anything. And I don't really like how Apple goes about that way. It kind of sucks, I know, but whatever. Apple's weird. Sometimes they don't really explain to you stuff, like even this screen recording that I'm doing. Apple doesn't tell you how. You got to figure it out on your own most of the time how to do it. Um, and if you guys want, I can make a video on that. Let me know in the comment section below. But we're going to get right into this one. So. It's actually pretty simple, and again, this you I know a lot of not a lot of people usually use iTunes as much anymore. But let's say you do want to transfer over your songs, or you want to do an update through the iTunes app itself rather than from the AirDrop version or whatever that thing is called from the uh, iPhone itself or iPad or whatever. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it. So first, just connect your wire into the Apple device or the MacBook. For me, it's Mac, the Mac Air. So we have it in the Mac, MacBook Air, and I just connected my phone. And I'm going to show you actually, uh, let me actually unconnect it. So if you open up uh, one of your Finders uh, windows, such as this one, you can either literally just click it from here and find it. So just, sorry, you can either click it, you can either search it over here and just say open, or you can just click it, a Finder window, just search Finder or open it what well, doesn't matter in here this is essentially where itunes is now uh it's basically integrated with the phone itself directly so like within your macbook air or your macbook device it's integrated directly into it so i'm connecting my phone i literally just connected it and as you can see you'll see a pop-up so unlock the phone as soon as i unlock the phone you can see iPhone pops up. I have an iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, you can see how much memory, <coughs> excuse me, I have available. 380 gigs, um, 500 gigs was the phone I have. It tells me all the updates, what's going on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you can see this is literally where iTunes is now. So you can restore your iPhone here. You can do an update over here. You can do all your good things that you want to do right from here directly. You don't need to go to an iTunes app anymore. You can see the podcast, the audiobooks, listen to my podcast, Broke Millennial Finance. <laughs> Small, simple plug. Anyways, but yeah, everything is here. Anything you need to do for iTunes is all here now. Um, let's see. So if we go to music, um, so I guess it's using the cloud music, I see podcast. Yep, as you can see, uh, I have those podcasts that I listen to, Bigger Pockets, Smart Passive Income Online. I used to I listen to a, a lot of financial podcasts. I don't really have movies or anything, but you get my point. Everything is here now. Anything you need to do, you can do it here. And yeah, and then obviously you can sync this over and save a copy on the Mac. Uh, but for me, everything's on the cloud, so I don't really sync anything over to the Mac. Um, and yeah, it's actually pretty simple and pretty easy to do. So yeah, guys, overall, I do hope you found this helpful and informative. If you did, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And if you're kind of stuck or anything, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to walk you through as much as I possibly can. Other than that, FNH out. Peace.